Hello, hello, welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hopefully, we'll finish the game today. Presenting Big Chow Band. There they are, the Big Chow Band. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Play us a ditty. Oh, what a... They don't miss. Yep, sure. Let's try to understand music. Let's look in this wardrobe. Could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason why we do it? Because I just clicked on it. What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. Oh, why are you getting me to it, Tails, you bitch? I just think you should do it. I've it for yourself, Tails. Oh, wait, I'll open it. Okay, which I'll wear. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the stars, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> um, oh, a thing, though. Hmm, Tails, do you see this? I'm posturing. Flute. What? I gotta. Oh, it's gonna activate something. Uh, what the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where it leads. Just curious, this must mean this is something big. Oh, it's back here. Uh, uh, hmm. I don't believe it. After the passage before they spot us. Hmm, very suspicious indeed. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be something. Hey, me, how's it going? Glad you two finally caught up. I'm uh, I'm surprised it took you, Sonic, to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We, uh, we've we been Thor. Do you have any clues for us? Uh, just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding some big light on this whole case. You mind telling us? No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge, to challenge Shadow, talk to him, then I'll be ready. Okay. We'll hold you to it. Um, can I take your order? Not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Okay, fair enough, Amy. Your priorities, I respect that. Now, I also wanted to talk with you. Because that should be the same thing, wouldn't it? But I, I heard sharing is caring. Okay, well. Never mind. I could start your interrogation, but I know you're not the murderer, so there's not really much point. Uh, we've done that. The arm, what's the arm up to? Um, hey, everybody gone. Can you uh, bring me a, a cold chaos cola? Oh. <laughs> I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Oh, no, I'll be alright. I think he tells you. Yeah, it tells you. you. You're a goat. Uh, that's the daughter leave. That's the chow. There's a bin! A bin! Yes! Tails! <laughs> no. Tails, I think we should check the trust bin. Every trust bin has been empty for you, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? There's always something in the trash bin. <laughs> Let's check the trash bin. What's this? Oh my god, there's something in the bin! Ha <laughs> ha A piece of paper. So right out the front page of it. Oops. I did not mean to do that. So I read out the front page uh, of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Mmm. Sure, it's not just trash. I'll let you have this. Thank you. There's always success if you check the trash bin. That's what I said. I told you, Tails. Uh, all right. Check the chalkboard. Or the, the pin board. A key ring uh, must be Shadows the Locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured Locksmith would have a bunch. Uh, wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. All right, cool. I think we've found enough clues. No, 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 shut up, there's more things. See, it's a printer, it's hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Uh, Sonic singing a song? Sonic rowing a boat. I'll have Sonic singing a song, please. Tricky. All right. Bro, my goat. And here you go, there he is. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Okay, can we print out the other one as well? Uh, Sonic rowing a boat. Hang on, I think I remember which button to press. Is it really that complicated? Yeah, to be fair, Tails, printers don't work. Well, there he is. There, Sonic rowing a boat. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. All right, and we'll check the computer and then we'll talk to you in a shadow. Uh, they told us about this in my interview. The launch is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is a uh, shame to be on the computer, uh, tend to be on the computer missing the gorgeous views though. I feel like if you're using a computer here, you must really need to use it. 
Alright, speaking of groceries, can we actually look at this window? Well, it tells you, I have to check this out. BIG! <laughs> this window is huge, what of you? I didn't realise the train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Alright, uh, I think that is everything. Yeah, that would appear to be everything. Alright, let's have a little natter with Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either with- uh, I can- There is nothing I can help either of you with. I ask as you leave me be. This stair is so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Flute, we certainly will not. Uh, can I take your order, Shadow? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back to the dining car, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I want to have a chat with you as well. Oh, okay, there's just nothing I can help you with. Okay, start interrogation. Shadow, we have some questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person had mentioned every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train and I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for the scoop found by yours truly! We're ready. <coughs> According to the map, next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here is to the lounge car. Uh, it's the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow's locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do! He's locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. Uh, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. All of you, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can't back me up to these claims. They will remain anonymous, anom anonymous, but I think the point still stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went into the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the, uh, is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Flute and I can explain the car change, however. Hmm? Flute, what evidence do we have that Sonic could have gotten into the dining car? The wardrobe. Oh god, these are hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting meteors. Ow. Ah! No. Come on, no, 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 no. No! <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Move my mouse. Okay. But. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second, guys, wait a second. We did it! Idea! Flute and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A, a secret passage? So someone could have used the passage and snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing the arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Flute! Hmm, 
this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, but then thought the crime scene was so close to his station he was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor's car on the way out, and dropped the body off in the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am! But of course, this is just a theory. A game theory. I don't have any evidence to back this up. Uh, other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems to tell an eye. It tells an eye were more thorough than you. If Shadow is not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and arrived in the library car, then how did Espion Veteran not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Do you have any guesses? Oh, Espy and Vector didn't see Shadow because, uh, Espy was reading and Vector was with Knuckles. Yeah, Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place! But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind the bookshelf at the table reading. Hmm? Espio reading in the library checks out, that's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent time looking for Espio, but he wasn't there. He was not in the library car. Uh, I'd like to believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Ah, uh, if you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if! Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. It's true, everyone uh, has been able to unlock the door next for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps Flute and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Flute, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving the keys away? Uh, the lack of keys. Oh god, not again. Do 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 Okay. 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 That one was easier than the last one. There's only one reason, exactly two keys in the key ring. Those are two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way! Well, uh, what of his own key? Could not be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow is telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong, tells us I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Shadow really is innocent in Sonic's murder. Uh, I think Flute and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does it keep including me too? <laughs> first, Amy and I, uh, first Amy, I just have one question for you. Has anybody given you your birthday present? Oh, almost everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Huh? Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Uh, them just being here is enough. Understood, thank you, Amy. Flute? Oh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need to, a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone the station a, uh, keys. Except for you, me, and Amy. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Uh, Shadow wanted to keep us away. Shadow's locking the doors to keep us away. Not us, Flute. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Huh? What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? D don't you, Shadow? Yeah. Uh, uh, how dare you, Flute? Show me evidence. Uh... If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. If you've been so thorough or whatever, uh, what proof do you have? Uh, okay, it uh, tells the things that's trying to keep me from showing away. Why? What evidence shows? Uh, I guess the paper. I don't know. Think. Do 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 yeah. 
God. We did it. Let's go. You went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash next to the printer. It's a band. Is is it? It's of a band ticket's website. Tails, don't. Yeah. <gasps> is this Hot Honey's website? No way! I love them. Uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is <sighs> my current favorite. <laughs> of the members have. B and after the name? Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gotten to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are usually really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time. They sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car the shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The station is becoming much, uh, the situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figures these things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of Hot Honey's was, uh, exits be because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. What? What, Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Yeah. Yeah, I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Aww. Sh shadow uh, I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print in the homepage by accident? Uh, well, the yes, that's exactly what happened. Uh, I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder? Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, <laughs> sorry. That's just a detective's job, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived in the train car, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen a hot honey live and looked it up, and that's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, uh, I realized, but they would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're, uh, the, the time you're able... To actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. But I knew I had to keep Amy away for a while while I buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. Plans of factual f uh, the plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. Shadow, uh, I, your gesture is so sweet. After all, I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you. How about you come with me? I, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Eee! Can't wait to show you the show of a lifetime! <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert of you two. <laughs> all right, I blame all my source for this. I was this wasn't a hot tip, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter is down the drain. I Amy, mean, I'm curious, who is the source? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who the source is. But we need to investigate the last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're, uh, we're more than happy to have you both. Flute, I hate to say this, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. So it was the conductor, which is what I said at the very, very beginning, yeah? <laughs> That's what I said at the very, very, very beginning. Okay, I don't know what I was going to do. It's now or never. Let's go. Oh, there he is. Conductor's car. It's really sorry my evidence before I continue. Okay, yeah. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him through the train at all. Last we saw was when he was in the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Okay. The picture of him. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time, uh, over 32 years, he's told me. He's retiring. He's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 
32 years is a long time. I wish him a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. All right, bin, bin. We've got to check the bin. You know what I'm about to do? You know, you know what we're doing, Tails? Oh, okay, well, we're not checking the bin. Arm, the arm's broken. Couldn't be completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. This arm is powerful. It'd be, uh, it'd be tough to break out of his grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? The confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. All right. We got a, a cup that's been knocked over. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure why, so says the mug. Cup of, cup of Joe in your hand and your wife by your side. Paradise. All right, all right, I get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> Speakers. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train through this. Should I say something? Stop, Beaver. If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Oh, oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Oh, I'm sure they are, Tails. I'm just being silly. Oh, um, okay, control panel, big screen. There's a screen through the entire train. Here, you should show information of advertisements. This picture's really cute. You can watch a full movie on one. I saw one that said, Happy birthday, and it was so cute. The next ad of nasal medication was a little jarring, though. High quality screens probably don't do any favors. There's still perhaps too much detail. Uh, ah, events. Oh my god, somebody vented. A large one. Seems one person go through. Oh my god, he vented. Not a problem for me. Not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why would it be a problem for you? Oh, he can fly. Yeah, he can He can fly. Oh, the tail's right. Uh, I think the only thing left is the control panel. Yes, it is. I didn't realize the robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of the functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, guys. Aw. Um, I think that's everything, so I'm going to chat with Shadow. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor th since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we certainly don't know where he is. I hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do miss him. <laughs> I do think the conductor... Oh! Oh! What is this? Someone was playing darts. That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That couldn't be possible. Tells us right, the train takes weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make a note of this. Let's talk to Amy. All right, Amy, how's it going? Well, you two think you have enough evidence for me to call? Oh, I need to sneeze. <laughs> it's high time we named suspect. <coughs> <coughs> what do you think, Flute? Ready to solve the case? Yes, I am. I reckon it was the conductor the whole time. The birthday girl is speaking. Please report to the conductor's car at once. Oh god, I'm about to have to do like 50,000 voices, aren't I? Oh god, send help. Hey Rouge, my girlfriend. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With the assistance from Flute. Why is Sonic showing up? Oh yo, yeah, Sonic actually might just be dead. <laughs> Sonic might actually just be dead. Victor! Real quick, can you come uh, with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be la uh, dead. Lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. No, I think Sonic's actually just straight up dead. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air here has been so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The chain has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I have been having a lot of fun myself. The amusements of a chase. Uh, so, I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You have a lot of good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I will be willing to do an event like this again. It says the train does not escape room. Uh, it says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could just ride the train to relax some time. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun too. Ah! What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, quick, where's Amy? Oh. He, he, he's not responding to us! So Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? 
Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Sit him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I ask again, which one of you did this? Uh, this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the master who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. S Sonic, he really was hurt the whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Flute, I have a big question to ask. Who was in this room? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, none, none of them. Oh, am, I just, am I just accusing someone now? Honestly? I think it was Amy. That can't be right. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I reckon Vector. He does seem... Hmm, I don't see it. Can't explain your reasoning? Oh, well, uh, uh... Okay. Do I actually just have to choose who the right person was? Espio. Espio, you learned about Sonic, weren't you? Oh. I did no such thing to my young friend, but if it's a battle of your wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this, the man was reading. You have nothing. Resonating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Oh yeah, the door. Phil, could you fill everyone in? What do we find? Yeah, the door, the, uh, the, the hidden passage. I see I could have left the library car any time, because I found a hidden passage to the lounge car. Yes, we did. The only way Espio would avoid any locked doors. That will put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence to use. I use any secret passage. I answered all of your questions without floor. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Flute and I can explain this one too. How did Espio know everyone? Uh, how did Espio know everything the train man you was reading? Uh, he's a ninja. Espio is a ninja. He flew in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's possible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> Uh, if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book right before ending in a hidden passage, and Espio could have met Sonic in the Kadokta's car, where he was murdered. Since you're only talking of what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right, how could Espio know that it was there? You said yourself, kid, you were lucky to even find the passage. Flute and I might, found the, might not have the evidence to answer that question, but we know someone who does, right, Flute? Uh... Who here has the passage, has the evidence to prove you know about the passage? Oh, I don't know. Um, Shadow, I guess, because he would have come in to give him the key. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh, I don't know them. They told us we could see something later, but now it's time to take a look. Who told us that? Well, I literally don't remember it was yesterday. Uh, Knuckles. Okay, it's going to have to be Vector then. I reckon they're partners in crime. Okay, it's gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be Rouge. Rouge, I need you to see those blueprints. Oh, the blueprints! You stole the blueprints? Oh, you stole the blueprints? Whatever. Oh, okay, this all makes sense now. You can have it. I still think it was the conductor though. This right here, the blueprint of the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge has them. Well, Flute, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh. He found them before Rouge did. Yes. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, in the library car. Oh, yo, 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 yo. So that means Espio had the yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the blueprints, then use him back. Oh, yeah, because Rouge was looking at there when he went in there. I remember now. This is a vague. Flute and I have evidence. I'm not sure how Espio calls uh, Sonic. Flute and I have evidence to show it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? With 
the dot. Uh oh. Okay, well I've just messed this up already. Ah! Uh! Ah! What? What? You can't just do that. You can't just do that. Okay. I can't remember. It was this one. Oh, fuck you, Sonic. Fuck you, Sonic, you bitch. Oh, I hate you, you stupid hedgehog. I'm glad you're dead. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Uh oh. Whoa, that was close. Also, oh, I knocked my microphone over. The black dog was down here in the conductor's room. I believe that's where uses knocked Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might have just been knocked out? Uh, I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dog could do. According to Amy's rules, blood dog counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present his fatal flaw. Uh, if I knock Sonic out in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? What has on something? I locked all the doors, and Espo didn't have a key. He would have had to take in the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, how'd he end, uh, he'd end up back in the library? So then I know another way it could be done. Don't make me do another one, please. Because I mean, we have, uh, the... Uh, the arm? I don't know the map of the train. I don't know if that's... No, okay. I guess the blueprints. <laughs> oh, not another one. Not, not another one. Ah. 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 Ah! Okay, that one was fine. Alright, let's take a closer look. Fespio didn't take the secret passage to the dining car, then what road did he take for Sonic to get there? There's a path right above the conductor's car and it goes all the way to the dining car. Oh yeah, through the vent! I didn't even see that area! Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that he's straight to the dining car. Perhaps you could access it. Through the vent over there. The vent, of course! It must be the entrance path! Allow me to check it out. My word, there's a whole path back here and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the ops take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow uh, fit with Sonic through the vent and took him to the dining car. <laughs> Tails, if you were, you were a smart kid, so I know you'd realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic back through the vents? With... The arm. Not again! No, these are no longer fun. Please make it stop. <laughs> Please make it stop. Oh no! It's Jova. It's actually Jova. It's Jova. It's Jova. Die. Die. Let's restart. God, this is a hard one. This better be the last one. 
Okay. Uh. No. No, 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 no. It's Jova once again. It's Jova. Just, just kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Okay, well, I got it that time. I don't know why I've been uh, missing it. Uh, uh, no, I was... Oh, fuck's sake. You see, what? Why did he not hit it that time? This is so stupid. This is basically just Sonic and the Secret Rings if it was bad. Okay, hit the thing, Sonic. Okay, he didn't hit it, but I didn't get hit. Although... That's still not fucking gonna be enough, is it? No! Oh, fuck your actual asshole. Ah! Fuck you! I hate this stupid fucking game. Two thousand years later. Okay, please, please. Ah! Ah! You know, if this is what I'm doing with this, I probably shouldn't play something like Cuphead, like, ever. Because... Yeah. <laughs> okay, just jump, just jump. Oh, you fucking... Oh! I mean, I'm not gonna have enough rings. Wait, 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 wait! No! You don't even know the emotions I'm currently feeling. Please land on it. Everyone saw the broken robot arm. Yes, yep, yep, yep. What if it was a robot arm actually caught Sonic? Yeah, that's what happened. Carried him through the vent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I don't even care about the story anymore. Those arms look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy. If he's wounds you for that, he'd have got beaten up. Yeah, that's true. So he was the murderer. He blew the dart. Might not to look everything that's been yet. I found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from Espio, who received the information. Uh, Shadow. Uh, Rouge. Uh, Knuckles. Amy. Okay, there we go. Oh, the hot scoop. Oh, that was Tingy. Of course. Tails, you were right. Espio lied to me. As we told me Shadow was locking the doors to trap Sonic, but when we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise, that scoop came from you, SBO. <laughs> no, of course not. Emmy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said Sonic is going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I don't know, SBO. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have to agree with you, you would be lazy reading the whole time. Right, so it was SBO. You like to be on a birthday of all days. <laughs> I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductors using the dino car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I believe it's clear to everyone. There's only been one person. 
It was you, Espio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey guys! <laughs> Sonic, you're okay? Sonic, just as the mystery was solved, Espio was the murderer. Right. Oh. Espio jumped me in the conductor's car. Dang it, you got me! A blow dart, though. Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The trains are bad, Nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, no. We need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the futures of the train. But while he was telling me I had a bad feeling and I asked the power source, the conductor hadn't even seen it. Then we looked at it and realized the train was powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twist enough to use Flicky as a power source, Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it is more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train has its co-conductor. You're not serious. Sonny didn't tell me that in the interview. Right. As we saw the Flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder and that was a blow dart from Espio. <laughs> Espio left. The lights came room and started glowing red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and I stood up. The arm came from me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm and sliced it off. Uh, the rail was on. Wow. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! Uh, oh! The conductor screamed as the arm approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before uh, and it all got to me. Oh no! Hmm. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> the situation has gotten serious. Why would you... Why would you not just tell us? I thought that was how the murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart! I was just trying to follow the rules. He's a blow down Sonic Station in the conductor car. It's laced with non lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for the merchant's press off. See? What is that? It says, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you again for choosing the merchant's press off. What's this? Instructions? I was given uh, the blow dart along with the card. Signed stuff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, the one with the robotic, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. I hope it shouldn't be allowed on the train. Who did get the arms to attack? Flute, who do you think attack? Uh, attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart. I think it was the conductor. Conductor. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it was the train. It was the train. Uh, something wanted to put Sonic out of the picture for a good while. I think the train itself was planning something. Once again, you say the most ridiculous nonsense. Just seriously, can take the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, the train is alive. Knuckles. <laughs> Come out and show yourself, hey, Amy. My birthday, and you'd be messing with it! Amy <laughs> Angle wore the hammer. Oh, I'm with you, Amy. The train can have it. Oh. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm -hmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is that the train talking? Of course I can talk, you fools were distracted playing your little game to figure out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm talking to all of you. Uh, I'm talking to all of you from Eggman's base. Where you- oh wait, I can't even read. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride and open rails just like we always planned. What are you- Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab onto something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha <laughs> ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, <laughs> the thud.
Not more. No one's here yet, bud. Hanging in there, it seems the trains on through us back to the dining car. Great question, but for now, are you alright? I'm doing amazing. Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a little bit more of that enthusiasm with me. Alright, so it seems there's more. So, perhaps I'm not going to end this today. I'm going to end this video here because it's going on for an hour. I'll finish this in the next episode. I don't know how long it will be. Goodbye!